Hey, welcome back. We are on day number 16 now. So I have kind of felt like a bit of a slacker today, a bit of a procrastinator. Um, I didn't get anything super significant done. It was mostly just uh, quality of life stuff and uh, getting core gameplay working. Um, I had a couple different uh, minor challenges in terms of engineering and I tend to overthink things. So I'll show you what I mean. So um, hold on, let's first enable debugging on this so I can show you this. So our our uh, land crawler will now actually move forward and he rotates his wheels and he uh, slowly goes towards the enemy land crawler, which is also doing uh, the same thing. It's moving towards the uh, opposing faction, right? Now, one of the challenges was, uh, and I did not do it on that one. Oh, obviously, I have the bug. I forgot. Uh, hold on, I can fix this super quick. This was for debugging purposes. All right, there we go. Anyway, one of the challenges is that now that uh, your uh, runway is moving forward, uh, your character, he sits on the runway and he has to move forward with the moving object, but your airplane can also move independently, so you have to have like this uh, relative movement that's going on. So that was uh, something I spent too much time overthinking before I came up with a really simple solution, which is just uh, to get the, the frame delta from the, the carrier itself and apply that as a movement offset to uh, anybody that's uh, uh, very close to the surface of our uh, uh, runway. But we also have uh, full gameplay now, where you can actually win and lose the game. So I created this uh, ridiculous over-the-top explosion for uh, when uh, your land crawler explodes. So I'll show that off here really quickly. We're going to go fly towards the enemy land crawler because we don't... Actually, no. We'll demonstrate both sides. You can lose the game, which can happen if you... Oh, that is unplanned. But our respawn works, so that's good. I'll use bullets this time. Okay, we're gonna fly upside down. And we're gonna shoot. So our land water is going to be some ridiculous placeholder uh, UI that uh, shows up if you uh, if your land crawler gets blown up. Likewise, if you blow up the enemy land crawler, and this is like the enemy headquarters, um, you get the the victory screen. So. So far away. The other uh, cool small piece is that you can actually now crash into the ground, and that was uh, a, not really super challenging, but I couldn't use the, the traditional collision uh, systems, mainly because I wasn't able to detect uh, whether I was overlapping the ground, so I ended up just uh, calculating your uh, altitude, which is just the difference between your height and the ground height. And if that altitude reaches zero, then we can say that uh, you crashed into the ground. And 
that's what it looks like. What's interesting is the altitude will change if you are flying over mountains, so uh, that works out pretty well. And you resume the game. Uh, currently we have infinite lives, so there's no real consequence to uh, dying and respawning. And I think I might actually just leave it that way. Um, one of the consequences for dying, though, is that your uh, land crawler will have to stow away its uh, huge cannon, and that means it stops shooting. Which does not mean that uh, it will stop receiving fire, either. The opposing force will uh, continue shooting their giga cannon at you. So, um, dying is not a consequence to you personally, but it is a consequence your faction, which could cause, cause you to lose the game. And I also Anyway, so what that means is we have, uh, kind of a, a working gameplay loop now. So uh, we are starting to have the semblance of something that looks like an actual game. Although it's really rudimentary at this point, uh, we can actually say we have something that's playable. So that's uh, a pretty good milestone to reach. I think from here on out, what we're going to do is just focus on um, Touching up on some of the uh, polish features in terms of uh, the flight mechanics and also uh, the current behaviors. And then we're just going to start knocking out a whole bunch of these other units that uh, still have placeholder assets. And I think there's one other game mechanic that I have to implement, and that is uh, the capture of these buildings and the destruction of them. So. The idea is that uh, your riflemen will run up to a building and they will take cover inside of the building, raise a flag, and that uh, building will give you a new unit type for your uh, faction to spawn, as long as your faction cont uh, controls that building. Now those buildings can be destroyed by uh, tanks and aircraft, and they can also be uh, captured by uh, enemy rifle soldiers. So you'll have this really interesting uh, uh, contest to uh, control buildings. And at the end of the, the uh, level, your total score will be calculated not by how many buildings your faction controls or how many uh, buildings the enemy faction controls, just based off of how many buildings are left in mid-level. So uh, I want people to uh, try to protect the buildings as much as possible, but uh, that will be very difficult because the uh, AIs for both sides will be trying to destroy the buildings. And this is a kind of a subtle way of saying that even though you might be a hero pilot in a, a war zone, the, the uh, behaviors and actions of you will have very little effect on the collateral damage that happens in war. So you could be the greatest person in the world, but war still sucks, and there's not much anyone can do about it, other than not having wars at all. But that's uh, for a very different discussion. Anyway, I think that wraps up uh, day number 16. Um, for day number 17, I I don't really have a plan on what I'm going to do next. I think I might start uh, taking a stab at the rifle soldiers again. Um, it's going to be a really, really difficult problem, so I'm kind of, uh, I've been kind of avoiding that as much as I can, so I don't have to deal with it, but I eventually have to rip off that band-aid someday, and tomorrow might be a good day to start. Alright, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.